Hey everybody, it's Mama J, and I got a whatnot pickup. Want to see what I picked up? Stick around. Okay, so I was over on whatnot, and I like to go to the album section, music, and look around and see if I can find any vinyl that I'm either looking for, good deals, things like that. If I go into a show and I start watching them, the first few auctions, they're either overpricing, or they're starting the bids too high, or even if there's like too many people in there. You know, I'm not going to sit there and fight with somebody for an album, because then most of the time what happens when there's too many people in there is that an album that I could have got somewhere else for 20 bucks ends up going for 30, but you get Getting that competitive feeling of bidding so you just keep going right so you know I always want to stick around see a few of them first see how well they're doing again too many people bids go too high so you know after you watch a couple auctions see how it's going then I decide if I even want to look to see if they have anything I want some sellers will put all the items they're selling and some sellers will put album one album two album three album four then I'll ask some questions okay but I was in JB classics and I was able to pick up a few albums that I wanted so I picked a couple of other albums up because they were a pretty decent price so we'll start with okay um i was able to pick up enough is enough this one is covered in gold the album is actually gold splattered vinyl i am not gonna open the ones i haven't opened the green screen so you can see that but it's a pretty cool piece of vinyl and uh there's the song list again i got a pretty good deal on this and i listened to them back this album i believe is a 2014 album reprint 2020 but a pretty cool album Okay, and then I was also able to pick up for a really good price. I grabbed Green Day. And this one, I believe, is a 2022, 2020 reprint. I did not see the original year. May not be a reprint. Pretty cool. Look, Caitlin's on the cover. <laughs> if you know, you know. All right, those were the ones I picked up because they were a pretty good deal. Then while I was looking, this was the main album I reached out for. was this one. Now I know this album is, yeah, it's a 1999 album album with a 2022 reprint uh, with the red vinyl which is pretty awesome. The reason I grabbed this album is because the first hard rock band that my son Spectre really got into was Quiet Riot and he actually was going to get to go see them and then the lead singer passed away. So unfortunately that did not take place but that's why I grabbed this one again. It's not open. It's a deluxe edition um, with the rare bonus tracks and the limited edition splash. Matter. All right. That was the main reason. Well, of course, then, you know, I always like to see if I can uh, score some other albums for good prices since I'm already paying for shipping. You know, so the Quiet Ride album was actually the first album I bought. And I added, you know, these other four in between, the two that you already seen. And then I was able to grab this one, which actually is a 2015 print. Um, and it is from Live at the Key Club, Cinderella. I love Cinderella. Cinderella was a big back. We actually went to a video shoot for them. Honestly, um, it's probably not on here, but I'm not sure. I can't remember what song it was for. Nobody ended up getting in any of the video shooting. I'm not really sure why they wanted us there. Maybe for voices and screaming and yelling and whatever because unlike when we did the Bon Jovi one, cameras never focused on the people. And then I was also able, which there's a funny story with this album, I was able to grab Motley Crue, The End, live in Los Angeles. Now, the story of this album, okay, this, The End, and it's on here too, is on December 31st, 2015, Motley Crue took to the stage of the Staples Center in their home city of Los Angeles for their very last ever live performance. It was the culmination of a farewell tour which had started in July of 2014 and traveled around the world taking in North and South America, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, and the Middle East. The band had signed a legal binding concession of touring contract that prevented them touring as Motley Crue beyond the end of 2015. And so the concert truly was the end. Being Motley Crue, they did of course go out in style with a spectacular light show and stage set, pyrographics, Tommy Lee's incredible roller coaster drum solo, and a set list packed with Motley Crue classics that may be gone, but they'll never be forgotten. We all know Motley Crue's touring, and it's 2023. But this was their farewell tour. This was the final night. But the thing is, is that, and it is on peak final. 
I know it's not shown, but again, 2015, I'm, I'm not opening it. Pretty funny because they're not supposed to be touring, but you know, times change. Fans change, people change. They released um, The Dirt on Netflix, I believe it was, and that just blew up. People are like, oh my God, I need to see Motley Crue. Then again, here they are with new people, new fans. Motley Crue then announced they were gonna do a comeback six years after the signing of an unprecedented concession of touring agreement to say they would never play together again. The thing is, confirming their reunion, the heavy metal band said the contract is now off the table due to relentless demand from fans following the success of a recent Netflix biopic, The Dirt. Okay, so yes, I am reading. I wanted to read this so you guys would get Get the story of why a video voiced by rapper and actor machine gun kelly who played drummer tommy lee in the film shows the stupid legal agreement being blown up and says destruction has never been an issue for motley crew they're back you know they toured as the regular band now we've replaced McMars. I know he's older and with health reasons. Again, that's why I just felt the need. I just, there was no way that I could just pass this when I seen it. And I said, no, I need a copy of this sealed. I'm going to hold on to it. And maybe when we do another farewell tour, we'll have a set, right? But again, I picked all of these up. Really great deal. Not even sure what I spent. I spent, um, I spent about 120 bucks on five albums so that's like what 25 not even 25 a piece so i was able to pick all of these up and that included shipping and tax and everything so these will be added to my vinyl collection again if you're interested in being a patreon there's a link down below thanks for sticking around you want to smash that like button give me a follow if you're not following me i do all kinds of different videos i've been trying to do more videos stick around check out my patreon so i get something every single month at the five dollar and above tier even the other ones get something every couple months months if you are interested in signing up there's a link down below otherwise we'll see you in the next one bye guys